Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to CHML's talk show, Idol. I'm Lynn, and I'm happy to be back. Bullying. It's a word we've heard a lot lately. Seems like everybody's talking about it these days. Well, we're going to hear it a few more times today because I'm talking about it too. Bullying. Conjures up an image of the big kid pushing the little kids down in the playground. The leather jacketed thug and his little wannabe standing behind him. Frightening some kid into handing over his lunch money. Well, here's today's news flash. Bullying is not limited to kids on a playground or teenagers on the internet. There's a nasty form of bullying that doesn't get a lot of attention, and that is adults bullying adults in the workplace. A little more sophisticated than the playground thug going after your lunch money, these emotional thugs go after your dignity, your self-confidence, your self-respect. I'm talking about the employee who criticizes another employee, denigrates their job performance, making sure there's plenty of people around to notice, by the way, and then walks away proclaiming the inferiority of his victim. I'm talking about the employee who ridicules other employees for no other reason than she enjoys it. She mocks their clothes, their hair, the way they stand, sit, walk, answer a phone. Anything she can wrap her narrow little mind around is fair game. And it is a game for these people. They get points if they can intimidate you into changing something about yourself. They get points if they can rattle you enough that you make mistakes in your work. If they can make you explode in anger, they get bonus points. If they can make you cry, they win. My name is Jim D. Filippo, and I am most grateful to all who helped me get to the semifinals at CHML Talk Show Idol competition. I'm sure you all recognize that piece of music that I requested be played. You know what? I guess you all realize that what we're going to talk about this afternoon, we're going to talk about weddings. And did you ever notice that that piece of music, da 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 Dun, 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 with a few little changes, could sound just like dun, 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 dun. Give us a call, 905 645 3221, star 9900 on your cell phones. I'd love to talk to you about this today. Hi, everybody. Very hot day here in the Hammer. We're at AM 900, CHML, Hamilton's News Talk Leader. My name is Mike Benninger, and I am psyched to be here, your latest semi finalist. Hockey is finally over. Tie Cats preseason football right here on CHML, only one week away. In that same vein, my guest today, a living legend, one of Hamilton's favorite adopted sons, former Tie Cat legend, CFL Hall of Famer, and pro wrestler Angelo King Kong Mosca. Hello, Angelo. How are you doing, Mike? Uh, great to talk to you. Great to talk to you. We got so much to cover. Let's start from the beginning. All right. You've been to Canada since when? Pardon me? You came to Canada when? I came 1958, 50 years ago this week. 50 years ago this week, graduate of Notre Dame University. You got it. You still follow the Irish? I sure do. They've had a tough time. The last time when I was around, Paul Horning was the Heisman Trophy winner in 1956. So the school, school has a lot, still has a lot of great history. And I wish them a lot of luck. Yeah, same here. They're, they're my favorite U.S. team to follow, but it's been a lean little stretch. Hi, I'm Courtney Johnson from Cayuga Secondary School. This is my last year, um, but not for very long. Tonight is actually my prom night. So I've noticed um, as we near the end, uh, more and more of my friends are concerned with their futures. Some of um, you might remember my last topic, which was already mentioned, uh, the guidance in high schools. Um, today my topic will be um, women in non-traditional careers. So if you have any questions or comments, please call in and give us a shout. Number is 905-645-3221, uh, extension 9900. No. Star 9900. Oh, sorry, star 9900. Read that wrong. Uh, apologies. Um, generally, uh, in earlier years, trades um, such as pipe fitting, welding, woodworking were traditionally held by men. Today, I have Megan Hubachek, who um, is going to tell us a little bit about what she does. I went to school at Mohawk College for Construction Engineering Technologists, and there you learn how to do, like, carpentry, and then you learn a little bit of plumbing and pipe fitting, and then you get to do welding in your last year. It kind of gives you an all-around feel of what the trades are, so you can decide really what you want to do. And you also get the management and the computer side, so you can learn how to do drawings and AutoCAD and all of that stuff. 
Good afternoon, Hamilton. My name is Karen Johnson, and you are listening to AM 900 CHML. And as mentioned by Scott, I do have more of a controversial subject this time. I thought, in light of today's events in Hamilton, the Hamilton Pride Festival kickoff party tonight happening here. I want to know what your thoughts are in Hamilton. Give us a call at 905-645-3221 from your cell phone star 9900. I've invited into the studio today Emily Groom. She is the vice chair for the Hamilton Pride Festival. And Emily, what is Hamilton Pride all about and why are we having it here in our city for the 12th year in a row? Well, thank you very much for having me on the show today, Karen. Of course, uh, Hamilton Pride is in its 12th year. Um, essentially, we have a Hamilton Pride Festival as to commemorate and uh, stand strong with our queer brothers and sisters, of course, across uh, the country. So and it's a celebration. The world. Really. Absolutely. Celebration. It's a party, but also to remind ourselves of why we're doing it. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, June 6th, and I am Gary Monroe, coming at you right here from 900 CHML, Hamilton's News Talk leader, and this is Talk Show Idol. And I have to tell you, it is my pleasure to be back and closing out the semifinals of this competition. Today, we got a very special guest on the phone with us, 2007 Juno Award winner and rock legend, Hamilton's own Tommy Swick, and we'll be talking to Tommy in a couple of minutes, uh, getting his opinion on a couple things. Uh, well, we might as well open the phone lines right now, 905-645-3221, or star 9900 on your cell phone. But first off, uh, good luck to the remaining contestants, and uh, hopefully I am in the final two. But if, if not, I want to take the opportunity uh, to say it's been a great ride, what an experience, uh, to be a host of your own radio show is something everybody should try. So thanks again to the staff here at 900 Woo! HML, and uh, to all the listeners putting up with us. Okay, so let's jump right in. Uh, we, when I began this journey to becoming the next talk show idol, or uh, hopeful, uh, we were thrown in a boardroom setting and asked random questions. And the ones that stood out for me basically were, uh, what do you love about Hamilton? And on the flip side, what do you hate about Hamilton? Well, my first thought was Thai Cat fans. But what really bothers me is, uh, that's the joke. What really bothers me is uh, about Hamilton are people coming up to me and asking me for change and money. You know, God bless them. They're down on their luck. But uh, usually it's some annoying crackhead, if I can say that, uh, coming up to you asking for change over and over at the same spots located all through the city. And gosh darn it, if they are not getting angry, if you say no, if they don't get any charity, you know what? Do a trick. Juggle some dead pigeons, sing me a song, I don't care, just work for it, <laughs> alright?